Welcome back to Henry's Garage. Um, in this episode, we deal with the driver's side, and um, it's quite a short episode um, as I don't really, I just show progress rather than me actually working. But you can see how it's coming on. Um, it's it's a long way from perfect, but it's um, I think probably I'm okay with it. You know, we've got a bit of um, orange peel in there. Um, the, the bodywork isn't perfect, but I like my cars for driving, and this will be good for driving. So, I hope you like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you on the next episode of Henry's Garage. Right, the plan today was to just get that door fitting a bit better and in doing so in terms of bending this in so that it touched a bit better at the bottom I lined up I ended up taking out all of this awful work I previously done <laughs> and um, I've started cutting through my weld here to try to pull this out and I just want to show you why So when I get this in here and pull this, there you can see when it suddenly pops there. So it should be out more like this at the top. Okay, so in order to get that out, I think I'm gonna to have to continue cutting a bit further along and then pull the bottom out a bit so that it comes out. And so I'm still gonna need a lot of filler, but it should be a lot less. I don't know if I've just made this a lot worse for myself but this all will come out further you see so I think that door the original skin there is more or less hanging where it should be okay although it's not very straight any longer and this one underneath needs to come out sorry there okay so I need to pull the bottom one out so what I'm going to do or try to do is I'm gonna just try to pull the bottom one out down here somewhere, weld that together, and then come over here and do it like that. So we'll um, clean it up a bit and then have a go at that. Right, so I've cut it quite a long way in fact, and I've pulled it out and tacked it in a few places and ground it down and it's not far enough out still, but it is better than it was, I think. And so I think we will be removing some of, we'll have less filler than we had first time. And I mean, there's quite a lot. Like if you look under the red paint here, there was already quite a lot there. So, um, so we should be able to get rid of some of that as well. So we're gonna finish welding that. I'm going to finish welding that. I'm going to grind it down and then get some um, you know um, strand fiber fiberglass filler one um, so that if I've got any holes they're picked up. Okay. Okay so that's the door rebuilt up again. There is still quite a lot of filler in there but not as much as before and um, as I was going down I realized that this door's had a bang and because I could see the dents in the metal and they they haven't pulled they previous people didn't pull it back out they just applied filler which I'm not going to complain about I know many people will but this is what I've done as well so you know um, if it was done by a professional I'm not impressed if it was done by an amateur well fine so be it um, so um, this now will now come off so that I can do this side here because that's not quite straight um, and we'll then paint the inside, flip it over, paint the outside, put it on here and paint the whole side. That's the plan. All right, so we've got the door in epoxy now. And so we now have the door off and in epoxy. So it's primed up. Um, I have also, where I had 
um, marked the paintwork so in order to get the door fitting and as clean a line to the rest of the bodywork as possible I had just done quite a bit of sanding and stuff so I put epoxy back on that hopefully tomorrow we'll paint this green we'll give that bit a coat of green and then we're going to sand the whole sand side down with uh, five or six hundred grit and then give it another um, coat of green at that point and let's see where was it oh yeah over here i have the quarter panel off which i need to take apart and paint up as well so that's progress we'll see how we get on okay so we've got two coats a bit thin here actually but we've got two coats of green on this side of the door looks okay we've also um, filled in this bit where I've done some work with a couple of goats so we're going to give that a couple of hours we'll flip it over and get a couple of coats on the other side so this is the door which decent reflection but I don't know what's happened here so I've had some sort of reaction, um, which is interesting. So um, the only thing I can think of is I'd left a bit of um, thinner in the gun, which I'd cleaned out and sprayed before I added the new stuff, but maybe there was a little bit of that still in, and it wasn't a 2K thin, it was a different kind. Anyway, so tomorrow... We will get this door back on the car. We're then going to sand down again the whole of this side. We'll use um, 500 grit or 600. And we're going to paint this side. Hopefully just one coat, maybe two. Um, and hopefully then, I mean I didn't cover that far front fender um, so that probably is going to need a bit of cane to gain or cleaning up from overspray. But once we've done that, um, then we've got a bit of the back to do. We've got the bonnet, the um, window frame and the trunk lid. And we will pull all of that out to do in one go as well. There we go. So we sanded it all down. We put the door on, and that's one coat of and that's one coat of paint across this side. It's not perfect, um, but the bigger problem is actually the body works not perfect. So that doesn't help. Anyway, so um, we're just going to let that flash off, and then we'll do a second coat. And if we've got any spare, we'll do a third. Okay, I've done it again. First coat looked okay. Second coat, you can see I've lost some of the uh, clarity of the reflection. Second and third. So that's disappointing again. Still. That's where we are. Right, so I'm going to leave it here. That's the end of this episode. Um, thanks for watching. Do remember to like, subscribe and comment. And um, I'll see you next time.